What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung said a few weeks ago that they are skipping the launch of the Galaxy Note 21 this year for two reasons. One is the global chip shortage that's affecting almost every tech company. And another is that it's hard for them to differentiate the Galaxy Note 21 Ultra from the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And that's the reason Samsung postponed the Galaxy Note 21 to next year. Now, there's one more reason that Samsung didn't mention, and probably the main reason for them to not launch a Galaxy Note this year is that they want you to buy the forthcoming Galaxy Z Fold 3 instead. Samsung is taking a big bet on foldable phones this year, especially the Z Fold 3 by doubling it up as a Note series alternative and equipping it with the latest cutting edge technologies. One of those is that the Z Fold 3 will become the second non-Note series smartphone from Samsung to come with support for the S Pen stylus. The first one is of course the Galaxy S21 Ultra. A lot of people expected that Samsung would offer a dedicated slot for the S Pen stylus, much like the Galaxy Note. It's absolutely necessary for the phone to have a slot for the pen to actually be a viable Galaxy Note alternative. But turns out that's not gonna happen. According to fresh reports from South Korea, the Z Fold 3 will support the S Pen functionality but will not have a dedicated slot for it. The report says Samsung was still trying to make room for the S Pen inside the Z Fold 3 until last month. But it finally decided against that for two reasons. One is that Samsung reportedly ran out of space for the S Pen inside the phone. That's despite rumors that the Z Fold 3 will have a smaller battery and a smaller screen than its predecessor. The other reason is to ensure that the foldable phone will be as water and dust resistant as possible. This is actually good news because it basically confirms that the Z Fold 3 will have some sort of IP rating for water and dust resistance, making it the first foldable smartphone to do so. But the downside is there won't be a dedicated slot for the pen. But to make sure the S Pen doesn't get lost, Samsung will make some special cases for the Z Fold 3 where you can keep the stylus much like the S21 Ultra. Also to make sure the S Pen doesn't damage the foldable display, Samsung has increased the thickness of the ultra thin glass to almost double the size that we have on the Z Fold 2. Earlier reports suggest the phone will have a wider outer screen much like Huawei's Mate X2 to make the phone feel more like a conventional smartphone and not cramped up. The Android display camera is all but confirmed at this point and Samsung is using a new polymer-less display on the Z Fold 3 that will increase the brightness and also increases the battery life substantially. Samsung will launch the handset early this time in July. With that said, before launching the Z Fold 3, Samsung will unveil the Galaxy Tab S7 Lite in June and we have our first official look at the tablet which shows it looks identical to the Tab S7 and S7 Plus but it will have some downgraded specs such as a Snapdragon 750G mid-range processor. Of course, do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.